Hello, my name is Scott Thompson. I'm the current president of the Wichita State Rocket Club and as well as the leader of the Structures team. I'm a senior in aerospace engineering and our project, which we have named HOPE, will be flying under my level two TRA certification. Our original intentions for the project was to fly to Apogee, at which point it would deploy a glider with the golf ball payload. However, due to time constraints and the desire for a test launch, we have since changed that plan to a drop pod based design. The primary concern for structures in this project were the selection of materials as well as the validation of construction of very, various components of the rocket. Uh, we settled on fiberglass for the main body and structure of the rocket because it has a good durability to it and we knew we wanted to do multiple test launches over the lifespan of this rocket. Uh, from there we had to mathematically prove the integrity of various components including the, crump, the possibility of buckling in the body tube the attachment and strength of the fins themselves, as well as the connection points of the couplers to the body tube, as well as to the nose cone. Hello, I'm Ruth, a senior at WSU majoring in aerospace engineering. I'm the advisor and stability and recovery lead for Wichita State Rocket Club's HOPE project, which stands for Height Optimized Payload Ejector. The rocket is intended to fly between 9,000 and 10,000 feet and deploy a pod at Apogee containing the golf ball um, to rapidly return to the ground. Some key, um, some key aspects of this, uh, of this rocket. There are four um, trapezoidal fins, a 5.51 by diameter, and a von Karman nose cone, adding up to a total length of, of six and three quarters feet. There's a, there's a Schraven and Stratologger altimeters on board, which um, create a redundant dual deployment system for the parachutes. The parachutes are a 24 inch main, 24 inch drogue, and a 72 inch main. The drogue will deploy at apogee from the fore section, and the and the main will deploy um, from the aft section at 1,000 feet. The um, st static stability it, stability margin is 1.5, which we calculated using Open Rocket and also our um, our own um, independent center of gravity calculations on Excel using with a detailed weight buildup. Hi, I'm Ryan Giesen. I am the aerodynamics team lead for the Argonia Cup project. Our team's focus was to design a glider that can deploy from the rocket and fly down and land on the ground safely. Uh, to accomplish this, we designed a glider with a rotating wing design that was about two feet long with a wingspan of about two feet. And it would fit inside the rocket and on deployment, the wing would rotate into place and it would glide safely. Due to time and weather constraints, we have decided to switch our focus from the glider to our alternative pod design, um, but we still plan on using the glider in our future Argonia Cup project. Hi, my name is Samuel, and I was the electronics team lead for the Argonia Cup project. So what our team came up with was a design for a glider that was supposed to be flown by autopilot all the way from the rocket's apogee up until its designated landing spot marked by a GPS coordinate. We were able to come up with the entire software system and also procure all the hardware components that made up the electronic suite. Unfortunately, due to time and weather constraints, we couldn't really push out our testing. And as a result, we decided to move on to our alternate idea of a drop pod. We do intend to use the glider and everything else that we developed in our next project of Agonia Cup 2020. I'm Sai. I'm a double major at Aerospace Engineering and Physics here at Wichita State. Um, I'm the Vice President of the Wichita State Rocket Club and I'm the Propulsion Team Lead. Uh, my team focused on motor selection and uh, flight dynamics calculations. We modeled the flight behavior of uh, HOPE looking at the uh, altitude, velocity, and acceleration uh, over the flight. We used MATLAB and Microsoft Excel to compare motors. We chose the L400 uh, based on its long burn time and thrust capabilities, though we are considering switching to the L952 based on our first test flight. Um, we compared our independent calculations to Open Rocket. We were pretty consistently within about 10% of them, which we're pretty proud of. Our first test flight actually exceeded expectations. It got up to 11,500 feet in ideal conditions. And because of that, we're pretty confident in our ability to uh, attain the minimum required apogee at the competition. In summary, we plan to launch our rocket to an apogee of between 9 and 10,000 feet, deploy our pod, whereupon it will descend separately from the rocket before deploying its own chute, coming to rest near the launch site. We believe this mission has a high likelihood of success due to the previous success of this airframe, as well as the simplicity of the design. 
We look forward to participating in this year's Argonia Cup competition and we feel through our planning, hard work and experience that ours will be one of the top competitors in this competition.